amor. Hello. Hola. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Everyone's okay? How are you? Uh, yes, uh, we can hear you. Can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, come inside. Va bien? I can't hear at all. <laughs> Maybe my son is not audible. <laughs> How do you say it? Yeah, come inside. Va bien? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, today we also have the pleasure to uh, have the companies of many other centers. I will join you to welcome the brothers and sisters around the world who are online today. Namely, South Africa, we have Johannesburg, Cape Town. Ola. We have Saigon, Long Khánh, Mỹ Tho, Biên Hòa, Lai Thiêu, Vĩnh Long, Bình Dương, Bảo Lộc, Bến Tre, Đà Lạt, Long Long Thành, Long Xuyên, Ông Đốn, là Ông Đốn, Trà Vinh, Tây Ninh, Sóc Trăng, Nha Trang, Đà Nẵng, Tuy Hòa, Huế, Hà Nội, Hải Phòng, Vịnh Hạ Long, Mông Cái, Thanh Hóa Hoang. One, uh, Tanhua, Mok, Tanhua, hai. One. <laughs> China, we have Fujian, Gansu, Guangzhou, Henan, Hubei, Hunan, Jiangsu, Jiangxi, Qilin, Liaoning, Neimengku, this center, they never miss one. Ningxia, Qinghai, Shanxi, Yunnan, Hong Kong, and for Moza, we have Xinchu, Zhanghua, Lai Yi, Mei Li Wan, Tao Yuan, Taipei, Tainan. Japan, we have Kumamoto, Tateyama. Korea, we have Busan, Daegu, Daichung, Guangzhou, Seoul, and Yongdong. Malaysia, we have Kuala Lumpur. Mongolia, we have Mongolia Center. Thailand, we have Bangkok, Singapore, a Singapore center, Brazil, Brazil center, Canada, we have Toronto, Ottawa, Vancouver, Montreal, London, Colombia, Mexi Mexico, we have Mexicali, Texaco, Monterey, Jalapa, we have Panama center, we have Arizona in USA, we have Phoenix, Arkansas, LA Center, San Francisco, San Jose, San Diego, Georgia, Illinois, Chicago, Boston, Michigan, Detroit, Minnesota, Missouri, New Jersey, New York, Ro Rochester, New York, New Mexico, Albuquerque, Ohio, Oregon, Oklahoma, Austin, Dallas, San Antonio, Houston, Washington, D.C., Washington, Seattle, Puerto Rico, Austria, we have Vienna, Helsinki in Finland, Paris in France, Berlin, Germany, Dusseldorf, Hamburg, Ireland, we have Dublin, Norway, Oslo, Slovenia, Slovenia Center, Sweden, we have Stockholm, UK, we have London, Ipswich, Australia, we have Melbourne, Perth. New Zealand, we have Auckland, Nelson, Hamilton. Yes, these are the centers with a lot of brothers and sisters who are in the same time, timing with us. Almost same time, they can, they can listen to us. Welcome to all of you. I love you. Te amo. All right, Mexico. What can I do for you? Welcome. Oh. Thank you, Master. Thank you. Uh, dear beloved Master,
actually it is a privilege for Mexican disciples to have the opportunity to, of being in contact with you. Uh, we are full of joy and love for being blessed with your presence. Same here, same here. The centers here are Jalapa, Tuxpan, Poza Rica, Descoco, Distrito Federal, wow. and Puebla. Wow. The disciples are here. Hi. <laughs> Um, we're going to record the disciples' last activities here in Mexico. Yes. We carried a lecture in Guadalajara City wow. for the first time, and we planted a new seed over there. Ah. We offered a Chapingo University, um, we offered a video lecture mm. in which we are very surprised, we were very surprised. Many young people took the convenient method and showed a lot of interest in your teachings. I know, I know, Mexican people, very, very spiritual. Thank you. I'm proud of you, you should do that more often. Very good. <laughs> Gracias a ti. <laughs> a week ago, we joined a national retreat uh, and we watched you by internet. Oh. We're very happy to have to have a new meditation hall in Texcoco. Very big. Yeah, in Texcoco, and we plan to have a vegetarian expo at a university. Wow, you're very active. <laughs> and uh, we are designing a new computer program and we are working in the translation of the Spanish website. I'm very proud of you, very proud of you. <laughs> well, in the name of all of us, uh, we'd like to thank you and we are, we are wearing traditional Mexican costumes as you can see. Yes, yes, I see all of you. <laughs> <laughs> because today is our very special day for us. Is that a holiday or something? No, no it is, now it is a holiday because we're, we're watching you. Oh, I see, I see. You're very beautiful in your costume. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, we have prepared a special program dedicated to you with love. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> and we hope you enjoy it. Yes. Estoy muy orgullosa. <laughs> Gracias a ti. Well, as our first number, uh, the Mexican brothers will dedicate a song for you. It's called Cielito Lindo. I hope you like it. Ah, oh, I will. <laughs> In Spanish. <laughs> express learning for five days and express forgotten in five minutes. <laughs> yes, go ahead. Yes.
very happy people. I love Mexicans. Every time, every time. Thank you. The next number is from a sister, and it's a poetry, it's a poem called A Magical Encounter. Can the whole world see their program? Ah, good, good. Maestra, con todo mi amor, de Virginia Las Cervantes, Encuentro Mágico. En la víspera de una fatal agonía, sin el gusto por probar, dulce o salado, desolada, entre una multitud que ensordecía, sí, mi alma estremecía. Y en el fondo de esta triste agonía, tu voz y tu sonrisa aparecía. Sigilosa, volvía la mirada confundida. Mi corazón palpitaba, mi razón no lo entendía. El amor y la alegría que irradiaría. Amada mía, me envolviste con tu dulce melodía, elevaste mis sentidos con angelical armonía. Poco a poco, mi enterrada alma resurgía, y como silvestres flores, brotaba el amor, olvidado un día. Inmersa en la magia de tu encanto, mi alma reposa. Juan Bella Aurora, sé quién reis de mi vida, mi única. Toma mi alma sin titubear y en el sinfín del aprendizaje, por siempre, por la... Señorita, beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. It's very touching. Beautiful poem. Un poema muy bone. Our first question is, is it possible that a single or married disciple with all the worldly problems reach the complete enlightenment in this life? Yes, possible. Okay. Yes, it is question. possible. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. question is, Master, I have, been, I have been initiated for nine years. When I met you, my life changed to a happy life. Sometimes, when I practice the sound meditation, I feel a pressure on my chest, and I feel as if I am going to die. Do I have to stop meditating on the sound? When I do meditation on the light, sometimes I feel my head moving. What can I do? Do not pay attention to any bodily sensation. Continue to meditate. If the pressure on the chest is too unbearable, you try to concentrate on the wisdom center. And if it's too much unbearable still, you just relax for a while, recite the five names, and go back to the meditation on the sound again. It's no problem. It's just your soul is struggling to get out. And uh, you still have some uh, hindrance. So it will be better in the future. Thank you. You're welcome. The third question is, Dear Master, my husband and I got married before we got in, in, initiated. Mm -hmm. 
At that time, I got pregnant, but unfortunately, I lost my baby. My question is, the, the disciples' unborn child, where do, they, where do their soul go? Is there any special place for them? Yes, yes, they are. It's not a child. The soul is a soul. So when the soul leaves this world, and that soul is connected with any initiated, the Master Power will take them to heaven. Thanks. You're welcome. Master, there's a disciple who would like to ask you directly. Sure, sure, please. Dear Master, when we meditate with our back on the wall, could we affect the quality of our meditation? I ask this because sometimes my kidneys hurt me a lot, and I, I, and I can't stand to have my back straight yes. without any support Understand. after two or more hours. Yes, yes. What can I do? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay to lean on the wall. But you better put a cushion between you and the wall, eh? So to soften the effect. It's also warmer for your back. Thank you. Yes. Master, our next question. As a child and as a young girl, I had bad, bad experiences with my father, such as rejection, lies, irresponsibility, neglected, abuse, and violence. This situation has been repeating over the years with my uncles, friends, fellows, and strange people. Thanks to you, I know that these situations are my own creations. I diminish them with, with your teachings and your inner guide. Could you advise me about this? Because this continues happening. Thanks for your love and bless me always. If you can, you stay away from these people. Okay? And only meet them when you, you need to, in the company of other friends or other people who are good to you. Um, yes, do not try ever to be alone with these people again. You know, the people who abuse you, who are not good for you. Whenever you have to visit them, you go with somebody, yeah? Your friend, the one who is good for you. In that case, you have no fear that they uh, continue to abuse you. If, if possible, move away. Move away from these people. Yeah? Go somewhere safer to stay. Stay with somebody safe. You don't have to take this anymore. Thank you. Welcome. The next question? Yes. When I practice the light meditation, I listen to groans that come from all directions. This sound is stronger in group meditation than at home. It's stronger than, than at home. When I do the Guan Yin, I do not listen to the inner sound. Why is this happening to me? What can I do? Just continue, okay? Try to concentrate here. While you're doing the sound, you also have to concentrate here, yeah? And uh, you have to repeat the five names for twenty minutes before you do the sound meditation. And if you hear the sound everywhere while you're not meditating, that's extra blessing. It is good. Okay? Thank you. Next question. Um. Master, I'm very grateful to you. Since you came to my life, everything has changed. Master, I love you. I love you too. 
I have a marvelous dream with you that one day you come here and have an international retreat with us. And in that retreat, I will, I will, in, I will join the kitchen team. Master, thank, thank you, because you always listen to us. You're welcome, honey. You're welcome. Oh, this is a, a next question is, Master, when I was a child, I was a victim of sexual abuse, and now I have become obsessed with sex. And the worst thing is that I'm married. Please, Master, help me to overcome my weakness. Mm, what can I do? Well, you've done your best already. Every time you have any uh, sexual thought that you uh, do not uh, desire, then you walk out of it. You go and get a beautiful book to read, uh, get a beautiful video to watch, or go take a walk, or go do some exercise, or do something productive so that your mind will be focused on something else. Do not follow the sexual desires that you do not want to have. You go out, have a jog in the park, you know, or just jog on the street. Yeah, say hello to other people and read books, watch movies, watch TV, watch a video, watch my video, listen to my audio, just walk out, run out. Or do something that you like, a hobby, or fix the house. You see the bathroom uh, dirty, you clean the bathroom, you see the ceiling broken, you paint the ceiling. You look into the house to see anything you can do to improve the condition in which you live, to beautify the, the, the environment in which you thrive. Take your energy, uh, that is excessive sexual energy, and put it into something useful and productive. You will see in no time you will have no more problem with this, okay? Do something against it immediately. Do something, anything you like, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, um, the next question. Dear Master, Constantly, every time I want to meditate is a struggle with my body and mind. The only thing I want is to meditate, the two and a half hours per day. What can I do to meditate those two hours and a half? I'll just try again. If you cannot do very long, then maybe you try a half an hour and then go for a walk or do something else and come um, do another half an hour later. Yeah? Or, or increasing it, like half an hour today uh, for 35 minutes tomorrow, and then for a week later, 40 minutes, then you keep increasing until you get used to it. All right? And if your mind keeps thinking, thinking, and you don't care, you just repeat the five names, and then you continue your meditation, or you listen to the tape, you put the tape, you know, audio tape into, use your earphone listening to it while you meditate. Keep your mind off uh, every other wandering thought, okay? Thank you. Uh, the, the next question is, Master, I've been divorced for 12 years, and I have been constantly dreaming with my family all together again with my ex-husband. I don't feel like going back to him. In fact, on the contrary, I am very happy like this. Yes. My question is, are these dreams premonitions or something that I had to live and I didn't? No, it's okay. Yes, yes. The dream is a working out of your karma with him. So you don't have to do it in real life, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Mm, okay, the next question is, Sometimes I find it difficult to meditate. It is hard for me to concentrate. However, when I finished my meditation, I feel that I have been in another level and I feel good. Yeah. 
Is it possible to go to another level and feel good even though it's hard for me to concentrate during the meditation? Yes, yes, it's possible. Yeah, it's possible. Because uh, it's difficult for you to concentrate at the long stretch of time and even though you don't concentrate on the, all the whole the whole time of meditation, but you might have been able to glimpse, you know, like to switch into other dimension for maybe a second or two seconds. That is like eternal already. It will benefit you anyway. So just try your best, yeah? Thank you. You're welcome. There's another uh, direct question from a disciple. Yes, yes, okay. Can a person, uh, um, can a single or married person get complete enlightenment in this lifetime? Well, that was, uh, yes, <laughs> possible, yes. The first question, you had that, no? Yes, it's possible. Uh, <laughs> In uh, throughout history, many people who attain enlightenment uh, are also through uh, you know um, it's also while wow, they're leading a very busy life. Yes. Thank you. Welcome. Um, uh, there's one more question. Uh, personal question. Uh, she wanted to ask if there's an initiate here who wants to ask if, well, uh, time ago, um, a messenger, a Kuan Yin messenger told her that we cannot look into people's eyes, that we should look into the third eye, but it's very difficult for her to do so. So what can she do? Mm, why is it so difficult? Why? What's the reason? Because to me it's an expression of sincerity. Mm, okay, then look into people's eyes. Recite the five names all the time. Okay. People's eyes are wonderful. It's just some people's eyes are um, full of the expression of their inner, you know, inner feeling and emotion. And if you look into people's eyes and that person happened to be very uh, troubled or mental or anything that is undesirable, they will transmit all this quality through their eyes into you. And you will have trouble, uh, you know, cleansing it later on. And in your meditation you feel disturbed and you will feel suddenly you have some qualities, bad qualities that you never had before. And so. I just advise you better not look into people's eyes if you don't know what kind of person they are inside, because you never can tell. So if you look into their wisdom's eyes, both of you benefit without having to take care of the garbage of other people. You know, you have enough of your own garbage, and if you take extra garbage, it will be more difficult for you to concentrate and rise to a higher level of consciousness. You understand? But if you cannot do it, then well, what can I do? You try to recite the five names while you look into their eyes so that you protect yourself somehow, okay? Uh, Master, our, the, second, the next question. With my spiritual practice, I've developed my love for humans and vegetables, but not for animals, uh, especially with my nearest ones, like dogs, cats, mice, etc., because they're sm because they smell, mm. Mm. and some and soon bothers ah, soon they bother me. How can I develop my love for my pets? You clean them, make them smell nice. Every dog and cat smell if you do not clean them. It's very easy. Every time you, after they, um, if you want to take them inside the house, you have to clean them. Pick up their waste outside and uh, rinse it with water wherever they did it, 
and then uh, clean their paws with uh, either baby wipe, you know, the mild one, the natural baby wipes, water is already wet and moist, or you clean it with a wet towel and wash the towel later, or you clean with hot vinegar and hot water. Just uh, make the, the towel damp with water or with uh, hot vinegar, hot water, or with, uh, um, you know, like um, uh, diluted um, lemon water, you know, like one one part of lemon juice and five part of uh, water, yeah, whatever you choose. You wipe their paws and wipe their uh, body parts, you know, and then let them in the house and you'll be, they'll be as clean as you. And then once a while, once a month or every two, three weeks or every two months, whenever they're dirty, you wash them. You shampoo them and wash them with a hose of water, just like you do it to yourself. Then they don't smell. My dogs smell super. I kiss them all every day. I hug them, kiss them all day. They're just as clean as me because I wipe and wash them all the time. You know, wipe them with a towel and wipe again. And if, they, uh, if you want to take away the smell, the best is the hot vinegar, hot water. And you mix it in uh, the solution in a bottle and then you you dampen the, the, the paper towel with it and you clean the whole body with it, okay? And they don't smell at all. All my dogs smell super, super. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. You have to, to clean them. <laughs> my God. How can they don't, they, how can they not smell if you don't clean them, huh? If you don't smell, if you don't clean yourself, you smell too. Worse. <laughs> all right? <laughs> And if you can afford it, and if you're tired of, of cleaning, or, of picking up after them, you, you can ask somebody else to help you to do the cleaning, okay, if you can afford it. If not, you have to work a little harder. You don't have to clean them all day. If you put, for example, if the dog is outside, and, and if you have a shade or cool place for the dog, then you let him out all day. And at night, whenever you want to hug them or bring them in to sleep, then you clean them there once a day. I, I, you know, we clean my dog like three, four, five times a day, whenever they go out to do their, you know, business, <laughs> the people stuff, and when they come in, before they walk into the door, they get cleaned up, you know, wipe all the, the paws and the place where they do their ways, you know, and the whole body and the face and everything. Wipe it all through with the uh, to paper or vinegar paper, and then they come in the house. They sleep with me on my bed even. They smell beautiful. Yeah. I have beds for them. They have all kind of beds for them and sofa for them and dog bed and elevated bed, but they also like my bed. Uh, my, their favorite bed is my bed. Yeah. And they don't smell at all. My bed is very clean and beautiful. Every day you have to uh, pick the, the hair with the you know, those um, special, they make a sticky roll, you just roll away and then all the hair gone. And you clean the house every day and clean the dog, just like you clean yourself, okay? Then you can love them. Yeah. Thank you. I don't think you would love vegetables so much if you don't wash them. You wouldn't eat them. So do clean, okay? <laughs> yeah. Maestra. Hay una persona que ya recibió el método conveniente, ya tiene 79 años. There's a person who already received the convenient method and she's 79 years old. Ella recibió también de algún maestro de la India. She received from another master from India. El, el, la, la iniciación de, de la luz y el sonido. The initiation from light, uh, light and sound. Ella anduvo buscando a un maestro verdadero. She was searching for a real enlightened master. Y no pasaba nada, no tenía experiencia. And nothing happened, she had no experiences. Y ahora que recibió el método conveniente. And now that she has received the convenient method. Ha tenido experiencias de muy alto nivel. Now she has uh, high level experiences. Good, good. Y ha tenido sonido. In fact, she had sound already. Okay, I understand, I understand. How long before uh, that, uh, how old was she when she received initiation from Lion Sa from other master, and what master was that? How, how long ago she got full initiation from other master? And who was that? I want to know. 
No tengo aproximadamente, pero hace como unos tres años. I don't know uh, exactly, but it's approximately like three years ago. Three years ago, then she was 76. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she's fully vegetarian? Sí. Yes. And how, what the name of the master? I want to know. I want to know whether they teach the same method. No, no tengo uh, el She doesn't know the name. She just told me uh, the, uh, the, um, the other master, but she didn't tell me their, the name. Well, how does she know that she has the same method? Light and south, you have to know which master, whether they do the correct one. You understand? Okay, so she wants to have full initiation now, or what? Yes, she is. She's waiting for full initiation. Now don't give me any information and I want initiation. Okay, I want full information because that's your duty. You want to ask me a question, you have to give me the full information. Do you understand? Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, how about the uh, contact person uh, give the uh, foreign department the full information about her? Okay? And then I will decide, all right? Master, can, can we continue on now with our program? Sure, sure. Thank you. I still have program. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, Master, uh, we have prepared a cake, a special cake for you. Oh, wow. You want to make me fat? <laughs> <laughs> center who joined you online is from Croatia, Europe, Croatia, and from Chai, Formosa, also Nanto, Changhua, this is from Formosa, and we have Hungary, Budapest, we have Costa Rica, San Jose, so welcome, I love you. All right, Mexico, continue with your program. Uh, we have a spiritual song that we would like to sing for you. Okay. Maestra, primeramente quiero darte las gracias por estar conmigo. Ah, you're welcome. Con mucho gusto. Ah, con mucho gusto. Tu amor está cambiando mi vida. Tu amor me ha devuelto la fe. Y este amor tan hermoso y divino. Mostrado el camino, crees en mí más de lo que yo en ti, y a pesar de que a diario te fallo y me reafirmas, te amo, por eso te escogí. Gracias por tu amor.
uh, is called Happiness, and it's sung by fellow practitioners. And this is our last song of our program. Look like a movie star there. <laughs> It's up to you. She's your daughter. You bring her up the way you think is good, but uh, you may be better explaining to her and make some cake without egg for her. Then she will not cry for any other cake. Hmm? Thank you very much. I understood perfectly. Yes. Now, we would like to thank you very much, Master, for your precious time and all your love and kindness. It's okay. I love you. And uh, here we say we love you a lot. I love you. I see you next time online. Yeah? Thank you. Yeah, bye. Gracias. Gracias. Costa Rica Center, and hello to all the centers around the world. It is wonderful that so many centers are able to join us today. Our beloved Master is so loving and so kind that we are able to come together from all around the world through the live broadcast. It's a great honor to listen to our most wise and humble Master. Master is truly our most precious gift from heaven. We hope everyone enjoys this wonderful day and remember our beloved Master in your hearts forever. Please, everyone, we would like to introduce to you our most gorgeous Master in the whole universe. Let's all give a great welcome to the Supreme Master Ching Hai. Thank you. Viva la Maestra Ching Hai!
Muchas gracias. Dear Master, guide of our souls. Is that you, Marco? Yes, Master. <laughs> Is you <still> singing? <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> like always. It's a pleasure for us, Master. Today we welcome you full of happiness and love, beautiful Master. All your disciples are longing to have you again in Costa Rica. I'm here. We want now to offer these beautiful flowers that reflect our eternal gratitude because of your mercy and unconditional love that you provide us every day. Thank you Thank again, you. Master, Thank you. for your infinite love, Thank you. for your great teaching, and for your continuing bless to our whole world and to the whole universe. Aleluya, aleluya, aleluya. Viva la Maestra Chinghai! Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo está? Bien, Master. Bien, ya. Yeah. love, Master. Um, my baby will be born in 17 days. And I wholeheartedly hope that he can have a name given from Master. You say he? You say he, right? Yes. <laughs> Well, I don't know. You want a Costa Rican name? Um, whatever you want to give him. <laughs> what you mean? You have a name already? Uh, well, in in Spanish, I I was thinking about Gabriel, but that's uh, good. That's he good. Has no Chinese name. Oh, Chinese, Chinese. Okay, uh, name him Ching uh, Kuang. Uh, okay. I cannot hear the name. Ching Kuang Ching is Huang Ching. Ching Kuang is Tung. Kuang is light. Okay, golden light. Okay. Oh, thank you, Master. All right, and Gabriel um, is good. There's one more thing. Yeah. I can do a very strong barrier in my practice that doesn't allow me to progress. Strong what? For four years, I've oh. been drowned like into worldly confusion, and I can hardly concentrate or to be still during meditation. So uh, the question is, how can I control my mind? Uh, like the attachment, desire, selfishness, and, and correct thinking, and how to overcome that spiritual obstacle. How old are you? I am 24, Master. 24, you have a lot of time to learn, okay? It's all right to make mistakes. Continue your practice, and you go older. You grow older. You will be also more mature in spiritual practice. Okay, forgive yourself. It's all right. Thank you, Master. You have so many things going on. You're only 24, and your family, you have babies, and you have work. How are you going to, you know, stabilize yourself so quickly? Yeah. So one thing at a time. Do whatever you can. Whatever you have to do, do it. Uh, one pointedly, just concentrate on that thing and move on to the next. Okay? Don't try to do too many things at once, and then you will feel very, very uh, confused and uh, very frustrated. All right? One thing at a time, one step at a time. Okay? Okay. Thank you. All right. What is the proportion in relation between the level of cleansing karma with the quality of level of sound? with the concentration, love, faith in the Master, and sincerity of the practitioner, or it is related independently from the inner state of the practitioner, or it depends only in the infinite power of the Master? Depend on the Master power and your sincerity. Everything depends on that. Okay? Uh, next question. Master, from the same person. During group meditation, the karma and the energy is shared. How much does it affect each practitioner? It depends on your sincerity hmm? and your concentration at that time. The more concentrated, the more sincere, the more blessing you will get from your share. Eh? 
you can only get as much as you can receive. Okay? So be concentrating, be sincere. Thank you, Master. Welcome. Uh, next question from Michael. Everything in this life is karma. When the free will take place? Ah, the free will takes place during your contemplation. That's the best time you could exercise your free will. Every other time will cause you more trouble, more karma. Yeah? Thank you, Master. Okay. Next question for Marion. I have been initiated six months ago. I would like to tell you what that I don't want to come back to this world anymore. But if I have to come back by any reason besides from your immense sacrifice, eliminating my karma from the, my past life, do I have to pass through difficult tests due to the more you evolve, the harder the, and struggle the tests are? I guess so. Just like if you are high school student and you have different exams, if you are college student and you have more difficult exams. Hmm? What for you want to come back? Stay away from this world. It's not real. It's just a dream. Nothing is real. Don't come back here. Don't ever. Once you go out of this world, you don't ever want to come back here. Believe me, you will not want to. So don't worry about it, okay? Thank you, Master. Next question from Marina. Dear Master, when I meditate, I have experiences. I cannot avoid to be at shock, curious, and awareness of observing myself coming out from my body. How can I avoid this feeling? Oh, uh, you get used to it <laughs> because, um, of course, it's new, huh? It's new. You know, the soul is used to with being encased in the body, and so whenever he, the soul can come out, you know, and your body also not used to it, it's a strong current that pulling the soul upward and being free. So the body also get a little shock, and your mind a little, you know, puzzle. But that's normal. That's okay. Just don't bother. Don't. Do not uh, worry about your feeling. Just go out and enjoy and come back again anytime. You see, nothing happened. You went out and then you come back, uh, your body is still there and you're still alive. So you should know that by now, that nothing uh, unsafe about going out of the body. You should be happy. You don't know how many yogis they practice the whole life, they don't even have this experience. So you're very good. Congratulations. Eh? Thank you, Master. Next question from Victoria. Dear Master, what should I feel when my soul comes out from my body? When I concentrate a lot and when I recite the five names, I feel shivering and afterwards I feel good. Master, and what, what will happen with the karma when we leave the body? Oh, it's still there. When the soul leaves the body, when the soul leaves the body, we have no karma. The soul has no karma, but when it comes back to the body, it continues again with the leftover karma. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I am an initiate of ten years and I have a lot of experience. After initiation, my life is more beautiful and mature. About two years ago, I rent a place for my office. And then? A few days later, I start feeling on my back and my neck as if it is burning or, and as I sense an uncomfortable sensation in my skin. When I came home, I felt like an user, an affliction and on my back. So I decided to move out. Now I start working in my apartment. I start feeling the same sensation on my back and neck and I thought I have brought it together while moving because I have never felt this before in this place. Now, the sensation has added up 
a strange presence, and it constantly comes closer to my back and on the left side, and it sticks on to me as an electrical discharge, and it bothers me. Master, what should I do for this problem and with this place? What place? The, the apartment? Yes. yes. Now it's an office. What kind of office is that? It's a um, publicity advertisement. And he's an uh, advertiser? Yes. Hmm. Let me see. Um, okay. There is there was something in that office and you have offended it. Uh, there's a solution. You put a big piece of crystal in that office? No, he doesn't. No, no, I tell him to do now. You buy a big piece, uh, uh, well, that piece of crystal, yeah, about, um, uh, was that it, 10 inches? No. Quartz? 10 centimeters? A quartz, you know, a clear one, a clear one, and put it behind you where you're sitting, behind your chair, where you normally sit, you know, behind your desk, behind, not in the front. Yeah, and then you um, uh, burn some incense and you go around the office and your apartment uh, later in your apartment and your office and uh, recite the five names and ask whoever you have offended uh, to uh, you apologize and then uh, you say I'm practicing uh, Guanyin method and I have some merit and uh, you know you would be uh, better off if be friendly with me and then we'd be uh, better together. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Did you hear what I'm saying, right? Yes. Good. Uh, the quartz is in the box. And you also put some uh, of the master picture in there, and put the uh, chanting tapes, you know, very lightly, you know, not too loud, in the office and in the apartment wherever you live and wherever you work. Is that possible? Yes, master. Good. Thanks, Master. You're welcome. Thank you, Master. Yes. Next question. I always feel something heating as a hammer on the left side of my head. Gosh. It hurts very much and it makes me nauseous. And it normally happens during midnight. Someone told my husband while he is meditating that I have hurt the devil. What shall I do to solve this problem? Continue meditation. Do not pay attention to that. And put some music on the right side. Okay? Master music or master tape, put it on the right side. When she sits and meditates, she put it on the right side and uh, very low volume. And continue meditate in that music or in that lecture atmosphere. Whenever it hurts, she can go and put some uh, warm, warm tower, the tower in the warm, warm water, you know, warm water and put it on wherever it hurts. Yeah? She hear me? She says that uh, it doesn't go away. Did she do that? Master, she said that she would try again at home. And uh, did she go to the doctor to see what's going on or not? No, she hasn't. Maybe she should go check with the doctor just to have peace of mind. Okay, Master. Right. Thank you. And put the one tower also, yeah? Yes, Master. All right. It's okay. Her next question, please. Okay. When I was asleep, I fell asleep under my body. After I got up, I felt cold and I was trembling. After this incident, every time I recite the five names and watch master video, this snake will come out and bother me. 
What should I do in regard of this matter? My God. What all the karma you have there. Jeez. No wonder. She doesn't know. <sighs> also, when she, at night when she sleeps, there's always somebody goes and give her and offer her something. Or, or there will be somebody who is uh, holding a baby for her, or uh, a sick, God. ill uh, child, or sometimes they will just pull some snakes on her. Of course she has some negative karma, too much of negative karma. I continue meditation, listen to the tapes day and night, recite the five names whenever it happens. Recite it loud. Is the whole family initiated? Yes, Master. Good. Then the whole family gather and recite the five names with her whenever possible, every time this happens, or every half an hour, you know, like every day, half an hour, morning, half an hour, evening, or whenever possible, all right? Yes, Master. She has a very heavy karma. You can see that. <sighs> okay, next question. Next question is from Athena. Master, why if I meditate diligently, I can destroy the negative force that keeps me in sickness? I am aware that the source of this energy came from a fellow brother from Taiwan, Tainan, mm -hmm. and this energy also caused conflict with my relatives. Do not blame anybody for what happens to you, okay? You should okay. pray. You should pray more. Pray, pray, pray. Okay, every day before you meditate, you pray for guidance, pray for a blessing. And take care of your body. Eat well, eat correctly. Go to the doctor if you have pain or something. All right? Do something. Don't just sit there and blame people. Okay? Exercise. Do some exercise, good work, meditate, do some charity work, and always think positive, yeah? Yeah, okay. And pray, yeah. Yes, Master. Yeah. This is from Maori. When I do the Guan Yin meditation around one o'clock in the morning. When I finish, I go to sleep, and I stay in a state between dreaming and conscious. In this moment, I have no strength, and I hear a sound from behind. Mm. And then I hear voices from everywhere. Sometimes I recite the five names and tell them that I have to sleep. Yeah. This happens very often, and this scares me to go to sleep. My because I hear mistake. these voices, and I felt that they are trying to grab me. All this happens when I am in the state of half sleep and half awakened. Yeah. Okay, every time it happens like that, you recite the five names, you pray for Master Power for protection, and do not be afraid. Okay? Master. Yes. You hear me? Yes, Master. All right. And uh, if you are more afraid, you put on the chanting tape or Master lecture or sleep with the uh, Master picture next to you or sleep with, uh, if the, with the music or the uh, lecture of the Master all night, you know, uh, with a low volume. Okay? That will protect you better. Yeah? Yes, Master. She's full of pictures of yours around her. Oh, good. That's good. That's good. And uh, uh, turn on a lecture or something to sleep with. All right? Yes, Master. Okay. My, what do we have? Oh, in Costa Rica there. Master, next question. Yeah. Is it good to recite five names loudly when we are alone? 
No, only when necessary, like when you are afraid or when you have some uh, negativity uh, bothering you. Okay? Also, I'd like to know in what language are the five names pronounced? If we have to mention them in this planet for our protection and blessing, do yeah. we have to recite them after death? <laughs> after death, Mother takes you up, you probably don't have to do anything else. Okay? At that time, the Master will teach you something else, all right? Okay. And in this planet, you just recite it the way you are taught. There's no need to analyze like there's the language, Costa Rican or Indian or English. This is universal. Hmm? Thank you, Master. Ah, you're welcome. Troy the Eagle, it happens when we are inside this body. Can it happen when we are dead? Will God help us to destroy it? Oh, sure. It seems to be difficult for me to do it alone. Ah. What should I do to destroy my ego? Can I ask God to help me? Can, can, can. But the ego will be the last to be destroyed. The reason is, we still need a little bit of the ego to go on with this world. Otherwise, you would not like to live in this world anymore. You would just like to die. So a little bit of ego would not hurt. As long as you use the ego and not let the ego use you, then you'll be fine. Yes, but she wanted to know how fast can we destroy the ego to have uh, to be illuminated. Oh, you are illuminated, but you still have a little ego to use the, as a tool, you know. Okay. As a tool, as long as we have this body, we have a little ego. It's fine. Just use it as a tool. Very subtle, subtle ego. Yeah. But she's okay. Tell her she's okay. She doesn't have that much ego. It's <laughs> just a habit. And whenever you have love, the ego will lessen. For her, it yeah. seems to her that it is too difficult to destroy the ego, and she wants to know if God will help her. What for you want to destroy the ego? I told you already, just leave it alone. Yeah, do your meditation and do whatever you can. Okay? You see this for you? <laughs> can you read it? Yes. Yeah? Love will destroy the ego. Yeah? At the end. Okay, next question. Okay, this is Alan. Uh, like, wait a moment, wait a moment, Patricia. Why does she insist on the ego so much? Does she think she has a lot of ego? No, it's only because she heard, uh, she hears continuously in the lectures that she cannot obtain the illumination with the ego, and she wants so much to be illuminated that she wants to destroy the ego. That's all. <laughs> it's theoretically what she thinks. She doesn't tell her don't think too much, okay? Tell her don't think too much. Just do your job, meditate, and God takes care of everything else, including the ego. Yeah, she's already very illuminated. 
Pero ya está bastante iluminada. Mm. Es un poquito ego, no problem. Un poquito ego. Ok, next question. Ok. Master, I am very grateful of meeting you and from your great spiritual help. I am an initiate of a year and I meditate every day. I had good moments and overcome a lot of, us, of obstacles. My question is, how can I change and better my level of consciousness in every meditation to know myself better, my relation with my family and others? Sometimes I react serious, seriously and cannot control myself. I feel sometimes it's too serious with myself and others, especially with my father, who spreads no positive concepts. Hmm. Well, 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 yes. It is not easy. It's not easy. You are doing well in spiritual practice, but uh, the family members are not at the same level as you are. Therefore, there is always something there, yes? That is number one. Number two, the father and the mother, they are used to with having authority over you because you were born as a baby, helpless and dependent. And so it became a habit, you know, that they always think they are right and they always, you know, feel this power over you. It's just the mind, it's nothing else. So try to go along with it, with uh, all humility and love and gratitude to your parents. And be humble, yeah? It's difficult, but it's not impossible. Uh, try to think in their way and love them, yes, love them. And if you really cannot bear it, then you do not have to stay long with them, you can stay outside somewhere else and visit them as often as you like. Hmm? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Uh, you don't translate it to him? No. Is there other person translating directly to an earphone? Wonderful. Good, good, good. Okay. Elizabeth is translating. Yes. Okay. If if any now person with me is Gladys. Patricia, what was his name? Uh, the Alan. name of, of the boy was Alan. Alan, did you understand what I am saying? Alan, yes. yes. Very clear. And how old was he? He's very young, right? Oh, they have fast connection. Twenty-two. Wow, that's why you are already a very good boy. <laughs> you're, so, yeah. you're so young and you already practice so diligently. Yes, you are very good. I'm very proud of you. Yes. But remember, your father has his own opinion and own, his own view about life. And he's older, he thinks differently. He had so many different experiences, and you are still young and open to new experiences. So just try to understand him and love him. He meant you well. Yeah. He says, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I thank you too for being such a good person. I know you are very good, very good, very good in here. I love you so much. Okay. <laughs> you all right? Good luck. <laughs> he's very happy in this moment, and he's very happy for this moment. Okay. Next one, Patricia. Okay. This is Gladys. Master, during our life of vegetarianism, for instance, if we need a blood trans 
transfusion from meat eating people and we keep on practicing. How much can it affect our spiritual elevation process? If you keep meeting meat eating people or staying with meat eating what? If you a blood transfusion. Oh blood transfusion. Oh if you have to and you cannot control that. If you have to have emergency uh, operation or emergency wise you have to have blood transfusion, just take it. And you uh, practice more and you will purify and there's a little blood there. Besides, our body keep um changing and changing and eliminating all the time. So this uh, little blood transfusion will be out of your body in no time, yeah? And replaced by more pure vegetarian kind of blood. So you do not worry so much. And if you receive a little blood transfusion from whoever eat meat, that person and the meat uh, that the animal, the animal that offer the meat we have some merit from you, and this is also fine. Yes, meditation can purify everything. Besides, it's only like a temporary, short-term period, so you can eliminate it in no time, no worry. Yeah. Thank you very much. Welcome. Thank you very much. Another another question? Yes. Huh? Another question from Nuri. Okay, Nuri. Okay. Dear yes. Master, I have five months of being initiated and my husband is not initiated, and he occasionally realizes financial consultation for companies whose money comes from places where they have contact with meat and alcoholic drinks. My concern is, is if this money that we receive as payment for our service can affect me in some way in my spiritual practice. No, no. No, it's not your fault, yeah? You work for it, you did not steal it, okay? And you cannot control, you cannot control the whole company that they should eat vegetarian before they pay you. So it's not your fault, <laughs> it's all right. You are so cute. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> the Costa Rican people are so cute, <laughs> so pure. Yeah. Worry about a little thing like that. It is good to be concerned. It's good. Thank you very much. Um, this is Elise Master. I have many friends from the Christian religion. I need some ideas in how can I spoke to them about the importance of the Kuan Yin meditation and about the importance of being a tool in the hands of God. Ah, uh, yeah, I also wonder how. <laughs> Don't worry, they have their time, they have their own karma, they have their destiny, okay? If you have a chance to speak to them and you feel that they are receptive to some new idea, then you talk to them about us. If you feel that they are not very receptive and not very uh, understanding about the new concept, then you keep your friendship and keep your method to yourself. Yes. It doesn't have to be a Christian friend that you talk to. You can talk to anybody else, anyone who is receptive. Yeah, okay. Okay, thank you, Master. Welcome. This is Jorge. Yeah. I am very happy to have you 
as a new master in my life. It is okay to use visualization to help the planet and and my own life. Use uh, what uh, qualification? What? Visualization. Oh, realization. Of course. Uh, like what? To do what? Like talk to people, convince people, or what? Or what do you want to do with it? No, to visualize things before they happen. What does that mean? So uh, you make it. Uh, you make a dream come true. To happen in a positive way. Oh, you better not. Like what? For example, depends on what. Like uh, if you wanted to get a, this is an example. If you wanted to get a job, just to visualize that you're going to get it before it happens. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Don't visualize. Just uh, you know, remain positive that you're going to have it. Just believe in it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Don't try to first thing happen. It just be positive. Just believe in. Yeah. Okay. It's all right. It's, it's all right, but only for positive things. If we visualize something, oh, I mean, if we remain positive for something that is good for us, something that we need, then it's okay. Do not over abusing that power. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Master, we don't have any more questions, but we have here Dr. Pacheco Enrique, and he will address. A little message on behalf of all the Costa Rican disciples. Okay, doctor, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you, master? Yeah, all right, love, all right. Yes, go ahead. Master, it's a great honor to, for me. It's a great honor for me to say thanks a lot. Thanks a lot to share with us your time and your attention today with your disciples from Costa Rica. We are full of joy to see you and hear your words always, full of goodness and wisdom. Thanks our Master. And now uh, we, we would like to have a thought. We want to say share with a great, uh, a, a great fruit for you, Master. Okay. Cheers, Master. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's good. Cheers. I have some mineral water. <laughs> Cheers. Enjoy your drink and your cake. Ah. Uh. I have it was our song master, you know that we yes. couldn't help singing it. <laughs> Sorry for that. It's okay, it's okay. I saw Juan Polista. Are you okay, Juan? 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 Are you, are you still crying, Juan? Yes, he's here. Is he still crying there? Yes, he's coming. <laughs> Yeah, I remember many people, but I forget the name. So I just remember Patricia, Marco, Juan Bolista. I'm sorry. Hello, Master. Hi. How's your mother? Uh, thanks, Master. Okay. Uh, very well. Oh. Uh, she has been a little bit uh, bad, but now it's okay. Oh, good, good. And uh, how's your parents, Marco? Oh, Master, you know, my father yeah, went away uh, nine years ago. Now I'm with my mother, and we always uh, think of you because you know that we really love you. Yeah. Always, uh, and you are always in our heart. Thank you. Thank you. You are a very good son. Very good son. Yes, 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 Master. Yes. <laughs> and Patricia, your father is still okay with you? Yes, everything I mean, is okay with us. Yeah. Um, they prepare, uh, but this was prepared another song. Oh. Um, they want to sing that song if you allow it. Okay, sure, sure. Go ahead. Okay, vamos. La canción. La canción. La canción. 
Okay, while you are preparing, I'm going to say hello to all these centers that joined us today, namely, uh, namely, um, where does it, we begin? Where do we begin? Africa, Johannesburg, USA, Arizona. You keep preparing. I'm, I'm saying hello to everybody. Uh, California, LA Center, hi. San Diego, San Francisco, San Jose, and uh, Orlando. Georgia, Indiana, Massachusetts, Boston again. Who is that? <laughs> New Jersey, New York, Rochester, Ohio, Oklahoma, Oregon, Texas, Austin, Houston, San, An San Antonio, Fort Church, Virginia, Washington, Seattle, and Argentina especially. I love you. <laughs> Brazil, also, I love you. Uh, Canada, we have London, Ottawa, Toronto, Vancouver, Costa Rica, San Jose. Who is this? Who is San Jose in Costa Rica? <laughs> <laughs> Mexicali, Texoco, Texcoco, sorry, Monterey, Palapa. We have Asia, we have Olaf, Saigon, Bình Dương, Biên Hòa. Chào quý vị. <cười> Bảo Lộc, Bến Tre, Đà Lạt, Lái Thiêu, Long Khánh, Long Thành, Long Xuyên, Mỹ Tho, Ông Đốn, phải Ông Đốn không? <cười> Trà Vinh, Vĩnh Long, Tây Ninh, Sóc Trăng, à, Nha Trang. Chào quý vị. À, mạnh giỏi. Ninh Thuận, Phú Yên, Đà Nẵng, Huế, Quảng Ngãi, Băng Mê Thuộc, Cam Ranh, Ninh Thuận, Phan Thiết, Hải Phòng. Cảm ơn quý vị. À, chúc quý vị tu hành tinh tấn. À, mai mốt gặp nhau. Ừ. Beijing, we have uh, uh, Thái, um, how say China, we have Beijing, Phú Chiên, Kháng Sú, Quảng Tông, Hở Bệ. Hay Long Chang, Hơ Nan, Hú Nan, Chang Si, Lèo Ninh, Nay Mẫn Cù, Ninh Chia, Sang Si, Sư Chân, Yu Nan, Sư Chang, Hong Kong. For Moza, we have Si Hu. Hi guys. Lai Yi. Thảo Yuan. Indonesia, we have Surabaya. Hào Chiu Bu Chien. Indonesia, we have also Yogyakarta. Japan, we have Guma, Korea, Busan, Tagu, Guangzhou, Seoul, Yongdong. We have Macau, Singapore, Thailand, Bangkok. Oceania, we have Australia, Perth, and Melbourne. New Zealand, we have Auckland, Hamilton, and Nelson. Hi, guys. Hello, everybody. Europe, we have Vienna, Grusty, Belgium, Brazil, Hello, German, Dusseldorf, Guntag, Finland, Helsinki, Hello, France, we have Paris, Bonjour, Germany, we have Berlin, Hamburg, Hungary, Budapest, Ireland, Ireland, we have Dublin, Norway, Oslo. Mm, they don't miss anything. Uh, Slovenia, what are you writing here? Slov <laughs> Slovenia? Yes. Hi. Spain, Valencia, hola. United Kingdom, Lon United Kingdom, we have London. Hi, love. We have London, Surrey also. We have London, Wembley. Hello, everybody. I think that's it for now, huh? Yeah. Hello, everyone, and have a wonderful weekend and good meditation continuously. We will speak to you soon, some other time. Okay, now back to Costa Rica. You ready for your song? Yes. Yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. 
We had a lot of fun and good time when I was there. Then go back. I yes. I like to I like to very much. Maybe one day. You have a place here to rest, Master. Thank you for your love. Thank you, all of you. Thank you so much. I'm very proud of you. I remember you. I miss you. I love you. Oh, Have a good time. Continue.